Initially, we used Golden Media because they were local to our site. Um, but what we found in using them was that they were of the utmost professionality, the quality was exceptional, and more than that, there was an incredibly personal service that we are now using them for all of our sites around the UK. AES Wind Generation is an owner and operator of wind farms. Um, in the UK we have uh, numerous wind farms that are in various stages of development. There are 10 MM92, repower MM92s being installed at Six Pennywood, uh, each with a rating of 2.05 megawatts. This is the fourth project that we've worked on with AES. We deliver consultancy services uh, all through the life cycle of wind farm projects. Specifically for Sixpenny Wood, we've offered uh, tendering support and we've offered support during the construction, which in essence means making sure all the right people are in the right place, doing the right thing at the right time. The stone's been uh, brought in from uh, local, locally produced stone from using local suppliers. Also the concrete's been sourced from independent local concrete suppliers. It's very important for us to keep local residents informed. We made sure that we held uh, public exhibitions where residents could ask us questions directly. We also delivered newsletters to people's homes and we've also held a project specific website open for people to email us with questions. We were keen to sort of make sure that we didn't upset too many residents so the road sweeper was on standby to keep the road clean and the road was monitored daily really to just make sure that we were keeping on top of it. Well, we've had some difficult ground conditions on this particular scheme. We've got some fairly uh, deep sands and silts that we've had to uh, we've had to design out the settlement issues that we could have uh, in this area by um, installing concrete piles on each one of the turbine bases. Uh, we've put 34 concrete piles on each uh, on each base, so we've we've brought in about 1,700 tons worth of concrete piles to uh, reduce any risk of settlement on the bases. We tried to keep delivery um, disruption to the traffic to a minimum really by programming our um, deliveries outside of the peak peak time. We brought in about 45,000 tonne of stone on this site and about uh, 9,000 tonne of concrete. The energy used in the construction of the wind farm is paid back within under two years. So during the operation of the wind farm, the majority of the energy produced is carbon free. Some of the months we had over six, five, six inches of rainfall in uh, months where we'd be expecting really dry conditions really. If you look at the weather now, we're in, we're in April now and it, everywhere's bone dry. This time last year we were underwater. Um, so what, what we found is the programme was uh, really was driven by the weather really. We were having to reprogram base pours, excavations, um, all them sort of works around the weather really um, to try and you know, uh, keep things going. AES always aim to use as many local subcontractors as possible, including hauliers, concrete suppliers, builders and local security staff. We've also introduced a responsible contractor policy which weights main contractors' tenders according to the benefit they're going to bring to the local economy. This ensures that as much as the construction fund as possible is kept within the local area. The worst challenge I would have to say has been the weather. It's been about the wettest on record, uh, stretching back around about 100 years. We were delayed in uh, the winter months uh, with very bad weather and this has put us back around about 10 weeks. 
This is a very low-lying site. It's very flat. It's good in wind terms, but it's quite difficult in construction terms. Uh, I mentioned the weather before. It's caused us a lot of problems um, because the, uh, the, the, the drainage board used this for upstream storage to prevent flooding downstream, and that is, uh, has added to our problems. The towers were manufactured in Wales at Maybe Bridge and they were transported to site via a logistics contractor called it Transport and via a mixture of clamp trailers and uh, rigid trailers. And the nacelles and hubs were manufactured in northern Germany. They were shipped into Gould docks and transported to site when needed. And finally the blades were produced in Portugal and similarly they were stored at College Yard and brought to site when required. The main crane used was the Lieber LTM 11200, uh, which is a 1200 tonne crane. Um, the, the time it takes to erect a turbine is dependent on the wind due to health and safety when lifting. However, on average it takes around two days uh, to erect. However, if the conditions are correct, we can install a turbine in a day. Once the turbines are in operation, they are monitored 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, by our analysts in northern Germany. Um, who log error codes uh, and if this can be resolved remotely they are done so otherwise a repair service engineer is sent to site to resolve the issue. Uh, and in addition to this there's six monthly and yearly maintenances uh, which are carried out to ensure the turbines performing optimally. The lifetime of the wind farm um, will be 25 years. At the end of its lifetime um, we will either decommission the wind farm or we will reapply for planning permission and then repower the site with new turbines. At AES Wind Generation, we're committed to giving something back to the local community. This can be in the form of a fund such as a community benefit fund, which can be applied to by charities and community groups for various projects. Um, the types of projects that we fund can be educational, community amenity schemes, or environmental projects as well. Mm -hmm. 